What up peeps, Mr. Bones back here, and I've got an update to share. Amazon haul, pawn shop pickups, and I've got like three here from Walmart. I'm going to show those first. <clears throat> A few weeks ago I went to Walmart the next town over from me. Got these out in a bin. The nun. And La Lerona. They both say from the Conjuring Universe, the last two I needed. For to have them all. Willie's Wonderland. Awesome movie. Lots of fun. If you haven't seen it, you should check this out. Okay, I'm going to show the pawn shop pickups and then my Amazon haul. Walked into a pawn shop one day and found all these, surprisingly. A lot of times you never have nothing. This one here is interesting. It's uh, Talladega Nights, a ballad of Ricky Bobby. It's like one of the first ever released Blu-rays, I believe. Experience Talladega Nights in full 1080p high definition. Blu-ray disc takes you beyond high definition. It says PlayStation 3 compatible. And the disc says for promotional use only, not for sale. I believe this came with a PS3. Pretty cool. I found it interesting. This here I found I pawn shop. This is a brand new release on Walmart right now. I found it for two bucks. 4K Ultra HD Alien 40th anniversary. Johnny Depp and Lone Ranger. Avengers Infinity War, two bucks. There's some new set. I've seen people's videos, all four Avengers for like fifty-one dollars. But I had two of the others. Got that one. So I have three out of the four. All I need one more. Black Panther. Thor Ragnarok. Jack Reacher Never Go Back. This is some kind of weird new shit they do. Previously viewed. Not a sticker or anything. It's in the artwork. It's a part of the artwork. It's pretty dumb. At the grocery store I seen the newest uh, Terminator I need, but it had a big yellow banner on the artwork that says previously viewed or some shit. I don't understand them doing this. <clears throat> Captain America, the Winter Soldier. That's my uh, pop shop haul. On to my Amazon haul. Got this Monday. I went to record a video, an unboxing. I unboxed it and everything, recorded the whole damn video and didn't find out. It didn't record. Just put everything away and waited so I felt like recording again, which is not. I got two restaurants. Three uh, screen factories. This bad boy, Psycho Gorman, aka PG. This was an alright, pretty cool movie. The crazy little girl Mimi. Restaurant Slaughter High with Flip. Uh, 
shopping mall with slips. So I was glad when I ordered them and it came with a slip. Because to me, without the slip, it takes away all the personality. It doesn't have, it doesn't say restaurant, it doesn't have the banner, the restaurant banner or anything. I got unlucky once out of all these I've ordered before, I got one without. I don't know how to get the slip cover to it if anyone had it, they probably won a bunch of money. Head up to your screen factory. Nine of the comet. I'm not sure if this ever came with slip, but if it did, I wish it came on it. Night in the Common and uh, Choppy Mall both have Kelly Maroney. Maroney. He's there in that little picture. Choppy Mall on the cover there. The Gate 2. I've needed this one for a while. The Gate 2 is Screen Factory. The Gate 1 is Restaurant. So do I put it next to the Gate 1? in the middle of the restaurants. So I put gate one which is a screen factory next to gate two. I mean gate one is restaurant. Gate two is screen factory. I don't know what the fuck to do there. Just keep them by their companies or put them by each other and mix up companies. The last one I got is Candyman Farewell to the Flesh. This is one time it was a good thing that Screen Factory has double sided on. Because because of uh, Amazon's shitty fucking packaging, they didn't put any of them air pocket things there or any peanuts or anything. So when I went to open it with my knife, my box cutter, I accidentally cut the art. Which you can see, it's uh, back here. I show them that the camera's picking it up. But I had to change cases and flip the art around. So uh, luckily with the double or I can have more that's not sliced. And the big long slices on the back. Which sucks, but uh like I said at least I have good art in the front by switching it around. Hope you enjoyed checking it out. Peace.